pathogen found in Roundup Ready genetically modified crops? USDA senior scientist sends emergency warning to U.S. Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack on a new plant pathogen in Roundup Ready GM soybean and corn that may be responsible for high rates of infertility and spontaneous abortions in livestock. An open letter appeared on the Farm and Ranch Freedom Alliance founded and run by Judith McGeary to save family farms in the U.S. The letter, written by Don Huber, professional emeritus at, at Purdue University to Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack, warns of pathogen new to science discovered by a team of senior plant and animal scientists. Huber says it should be treated as an emergency and it could result in a collapse of U.S. soy and corn export markets and significant disruption of domestic food and feed supplies. The letter appeared to have been written before Vilsack announced his decision to authorize unrestricted commercial planting of genetically modified alfalfa on February 1st in the hope of convincing the Secretary of Agriculture to impose a moratorium instead of deregulation of Roundup Ready crops. The new pathogen appears associated with serious pervasive diseases in plants. Sudden death syndrome in soybean and goss wilt in corn but its suspected effects on livestock is alarming. Huber refers to recent reports of infertility rates in dairy heifers of over 20% and spontaneous abortions in cattle as high as 45%. This could be the worst nightmare of genetic engineering that some scientists, including me, have been warning for years. See Genetic Engineering Dream or Nightmare, ISIS Publication. The unintended creation of new pathogens through assisted horizontal gene transfer and recombination. Huber writes in closing, I have studied plant pathogens for more than 50 years. We are now seeing an unprecedented trend of increasing plant and animal diseases and disorders. This pathogen may be instrumental to understanding and solving this problem. It deserves immediate attention with significant resources to avoid a general collapse of our critical agricultural infrastructure. And then uh, here's the letter <clears throat> to Secretary Vilsack. Dear Secretary Vilsack, a team of senior plant and animal scientists have recently brought to my attention the discovery of an electron microscopic pathogen that appears to significantly impact the health of plants, animals, and probably human beings. Based on a review of the data, it is widespread, very serious, and is in much higher concentrations in Roundup Ready soybeans and corn suggesting a link with the RR gene, Roundup Ready gene, or more likely the presence of Roundup. This organism appears new to science. This is highly sensitive information that could result in a collapse of U.S. soy and corn export markets and significant disruption of domestic food and feed supplies. On the other hand, this new organism may already be responsible for significant harm my colleagues and I are therefore moving our investigation forward with speed and discretion and seek assistance from the USDA and other entities to identify the pathogen's source, prevalence, implications, and remedies. We are informing the USDA of our findings at this early stage specifically due to your pending decision regarding approval of RR alfalfa. Naturally, if either the RR gene or Roundup itself is a promoter or cofactor of this pathogen, then such approval could be a calamity. Based on the current evidence, the only reasonable action at this time would be to delay deregulation at least until sufficient data has exonerated the RR system, if it does. For the past 40 years, I have been a scientist in prof the professional and military agencies that evaluate and prepare for natural and man-made biological threats, including germ warfare and disease outbreaks. Based on this experience, I believe that we are facing from the, this pathogen is unique and of a high-risk status. In layman's terms, it should be treated as an emergency. A diverse set of researchers working on this problem have contributed various pieces of the puzzle, which together presents the following disturbing scenario. 
unique physical properties. This previously unknown organism is only visible under an electron microscope, with an approximate size range equal to a medium-sized virus. It is able to reproduce and appears to be microfungal-like organism. If so, it would be the first such microfungus ever identified. There is strong evidence that this infectious agent promotes diseases of both plants and animals, which is very rare. It is found in high concentrations in Roundup Ready soybean meal and corn, distiller's meal, fermentation feed products, pig stomach contents, and pig, pig cat and cattle placentas. <clears throat> Linked with outbreaks of plant disease, the organism is prolific in plants infected with two pervasive diseases that are driving down yields and farmer income, sudden death syndrome, or SDS in soy and goss wilt in corn. The pathogen is also found in the fungal causative agent of SDS. Fusarium solani FSP glycides. Implicated in animal reproductive failure. Laboratory tests have confirmed the presence of this organism in a wide variety of livestock that have experienced spontaneous abortions and infertility. Preliminary results from ongoing research have also been able to reproduce abortions in a clinical setting. The pathogen may explain the escalating frequency of infertility and spontaneous abortions over the past few years in U.S. cattle, dairy, swine, and horse operations. These include recent reports of infertility rates in dairy heifers of over 20% and spontaneous abortions in cattle as high as 45%. For example, 450 of a thousand pregnant heifers fed wheatledge experienced spontaneous abortions. Over the same period, another 1,000 heifers from the same herd that were raised on hay had no abortions. High concentrations of the pathogen were confirmed on the wheatledge, which likely had been under weed management using glyphosate. Recommendations in summary, because of the high teeter of this new animal pathogen in Roundup Ready crops and its association with plant and animal diseases that are reaching epidemic proportions, we request USDA's participation in a multi-agency investigation and an immediate moratorium on the deregulation of RR crops until the casual predisposing relationship with glyphosate and or RR plants can be ruled out as a threat to crop and animal production and human health. It is urgent to examine whether the side effects of glyphosate use may have facilitated the growth of this pathogen or allowed it to cause greater harm to the weakened plant and animal hosts. It is well documented that glyphosate promotes soil pathogens and is already implicated with the increase of more than 40 plant diseases. It dismantles plant defenses by chelating vital nutrients, and it reduces the bioavailability of nutrients in feed, which in turn can cause animal disorders. To properly evaluate these factors, we request access to the relevant USDA data. I have studied plant pathogens for more than 50 years. We are now seeing an unprecedented trend of increasing plant and animal diseases and disorders. This pathogen may be instrumental to understanding and solving this problem. It deserves immediate attention with significant resources to avoid a general collapse of our critical agricultural infrastructure. Sincerely, retired Colonel Don M. Huber, Emeritus Professor, Purdue University, APS Coordinator, USDA National Plant Disease Recovery System, or NPDRS. Now I wonder, could this have, or could this be related to all of the uh, uh, animal deaths um, even the even a lot of the bird deaths makes makes one ponder um, yeah I mean a pole shift can affect uh, the birds and, and stuff but uh, this sounds horrible I mean if this is true um, which I have no reason to believe it isn't we're in worse trouble than I thought um, I mean, everybody around here probably knows about genetically modified crops, yada, yada, yada.
but this is this is a hard nosed letter here um, sounds very credible and it's from the Institute of, of Institute of Science and Society ISIS so I mean um, well something's got to be done about this people we're eating contaminated everything just about I mean who's to say that uh, all of our or most of our uh, organic food isn't infected by this pathogen it's just sick but anyway I thought I'd pass that along and there's going to be the links in the description try and have a good one talk to you later